Mr. Zach Oates from Diamond Select, and he's going to take us through some of the new DC offerings that Diamond Select has for us this year. So, Zach, take it away, sir. First up, we've got these Legends in Three Dimensions busts. These are um, half-scale human busts, half-human scale busts. Uh, $150 is the retail price for Joker and Harley each. Uh, $200 for Batman. Uh, we've also got our gallery PVC dioramas, which are about uh, $50 each. We've got Lex Luthor. Robin. Uh, Robin should be coming out very soon. I think he's going to hit uh, beginning of March. Uh, Red Hood. We've got a few movie pieces down here. We've got um, Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, uh, Batman, and uh, Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. So i got to stop you for a sec on this Batman. That Batman is fantastic. Oh, thank you. How, how did you. Did it take a while to get the license to do that? Or is it just you? Is just the, the timing of it? or? Uh, I think... <laughs> Well, we haven't been working on it since 1989, I'll tell yeah, you that. The, uh, the, we've had the DC license for um, animated style products for a while now, probably yeah. for, for several years at this point. Um, so we did a lot of stuff from Batman Animated Series, uh, New Batman Adventures, Justice League. Yeah. Um, and then we segued into comic book uh, gallery PVCs, which we just showed some of those. Um, and uh, this is just sort of the next step in that. It's um, nice. I don't know how long it took to work the deal out, but um, but we're, we're they allowed to make stuff from, from past the DC movies, not just the next one that's on coming out. Awesome. So um, that includes Batman, Batman Returns, uh, Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. Um, uh, we just did another piece from um, the second piece from the original Justice League, from the Justice League movie yeah. with Wonder Woman. Um, so awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of stuff in the works. They got some really nice things over here. Yeah, this is the uh, these are our premier collection resin statues. These are about one hundred fifty dollars each. Uh, the bust is uh, sixty. That's our new Harley Quinn bust. But uh, Bat Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman each are one hundred fifty dollars. Nice. And they uh, display very well together. They display great on their own. But they display yeah. even better when you pair them and set them up in a group of three. Awesome. Uh, this is a gallery PVC diorama. Um, so that's fifty dollars. Just the retail price. Um, that's the second Batman one we've done. We did another one um, where he was uh, swing, leaping and swinging yeah. the batarang. It's an older piece. Um, this one, we're still trying to work out the cost on it, um, but it's um, it's going to be a gallery PVC. It just may be a little bit more expensive than our normal deluxe gallery PVCs. Nice. Uh, this Catwoman is new. Jim Balin style Catwoman. Oh, wow. That's cool. awesome. What do we have down here? Yeah. We've got a bunch of Batman villains. we got Bane. I love that Bane. Yeah, it's, it's, we all love that Bane. Everybody yeah. loves Bane. You got, you got the mask perfectly, you know? It looks, it looks just like from the comic. Two-Face uh, we're showing here for the first time. Nobody's seen that before today. Yeah, that purple. I, I'm glad you went for the purple instead of just like the black and white, you know? It looks awesome. Scarecrow and Penguin. So is that a question for you. You guys do a great job of selecting the characters for the models you pick. Like last year's Batman and Robin from The Dark Knight Returns, it was just a, a, a really awesome um, extrapolation from the comic book, like, just like from the comic book. How, what's that process like for you guys? Is that you or is it a whole team of people? Or how do you guys kind of determine which characters and kind of which incarnation and, and the poses and all that stuff? Uh, there's certain, a certain amount of team input, but uh, for the most part our president uh, Right, run, works out the line plans um, you know, with a lot of input from other people and based on you know what else is going to be coming out at, at that same time so he'll want, not won't want to double up on certain characters yeah he may not we may want to make sure there's something from animated and something from movie you know um, gotcha. the terms of contracts has something some stuff to do with it but um, but uh, yeah he's you know having a president of the company who's a fan uh, he, 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 the one who makes the decisions is a fan yeah. of the stuff he's making decisions on so and it shows and especially with these PVC, PVC statues I mean they, they don't even look like they're plastic. I mean, yeah, look at that one versus the ones up here. You know, they almost look like they're the same quality, you know, the same material going into both. So that's that's really awesome that you guys can maintain that, that quality. I remember a few years ago when it was like a PVC statue, it wasn't like the ones you guys were producing. They were definitely kind of a cheaper looking thing and you can tell, but these are phenomenal, all the, all the statues you guys put, put out. So. Oh, thank you. No, it's definitely come a long way and... Uh, I don't know how they're able to do it for the cost, of, for the price that they yeah. do it. But uh, but uh, it's it's uh, 
it's a blessing for collectors who can't afford to be statue collectors. Right, because, exactly. Because statues are expensive. Oh, yeah, they're really expensive. And then I end up breaking my statues <laughs> and dinging them. Yeah. I don't have to worry about it with you guys. Yeah, no, these, yeah. Uh, when they're made out of PVC, you don't have to worry about them. So look at that. Look at this I'm guy. not going to throw it too high because <laughs> yeah. I could still break it. But, right, uh, but still. But if it falls off a shelf, it's less likely to break than a resin. Exactly, so, exactly. Uh, this is a production sample. Nice. Um, any other DC figures you want to talk about that are coming out this year? Or is this is a pretty good sampling of what we're going to be seeing? Um, or that you could talk about, I guess. Anything else. Um, I think we're going to have some exclusive uh, galleries uh, still. Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about them too much, but I think we'll, um, we'll be able to announce later on there will be some retailers that are going to have, some chain retailers that are going to okay. have exclusive Batman products. Nice. So I'll keep, we'll keep everybody posted about those. You know, one thing, I'm, one personal request, the uh, Brandon Routh came, uh, costume he wore in... Uh, the recent CW shows. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if you've seen that. I would love to see you guys uh, do something with that. Just I would love to. I would love for us to do more CW stuff. That would be great. The, uh, the Batwoman. Yes. And that came out great. The Supergirl was great. No, they, Supergirl, they've been all been Green great. Arrow, Flash. Yeah. Uh, I'd love for us to keep it going. I'd love for us to do a Black Lightning. I'd yeah. love for us to do uh, a lot of characters. Even a, even a Red Arrow. Any, any, any one of the other Archer characters from that show. That would be great. That'd awesome. Be great. Well, thank you so much, Zach. And last comment, I love your beard. It's so perfectly <laughs> quaffed. And thank maintained. You. Well done, sir. And thank you for your time.